So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Remember that the simplify strategy is typically used on questions that are between one and three lines long and that contain either an expression or equation. So I am going to read this one because it's a little bit longer than typical simplify questions. Um, so usually I would just jump straight to simplifying this, and I'm sure that I'm still going to need to do that. But I'm going to read first just to make sure I don't waste my time um, and maybe give myself a better sense of how to simplify this equation. So the question says, one solution to the given equation can be written as x equals 5 plus square root n. Okay, so that's important. Where n is a constant, what is the value of n? All right, so we're just trying to figure out the value of that term or the number under the radical. So if I were to simplify this trinomial, right, x squared minus 10x plus 14 equals 0, the very first thing I would think about is are there any factors of 14 that add up to equal negative 10? And there are not, right? And I shouldn't be surprised by that because... The question kind of has given me a hint here that I'm going to need to use a quadratic equation. Right? The fact that there's a square root in here tells me that I'm probably going to need to use this negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So hopefully that looks familiar. And you remember that this is a way or a method for simplifying or for factoring or for solving, right, trinomials, I should say. So let's throw this information into here and solve for x and see if we get something that looks like this that can be helpful for us. So for us, we know that a is 1, right, because there's no number in front of the x squared. b is negative 10, right, because that's the second term. And c is 14, because that's the third term there. So let's throw all these things in. So we'd have x equals negative b, making that positive 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 10 squared is 100, minus 4, a is 1, c is 14, all over 2a, making that 2. All right, so when we reduce or simplify was under the radical here, 100 minus 4 times 14. 4 times 14 is 56, right? Four. Yep. So then I'd have 100 minus 56. Again, I can't use my calculator. So that's why I'm using, doing the math on the side here. Is 44. So this becomes x equals 10 plus or minus the square root of 44 all over 2. So we're getting closer, but our question tells us that we want to have something in the x equals 5 plus root n. Like that's how we want our answer to look. We're getting closer, but we're not quite there. So I can... Uh, I can simplify this root 44, right? 44 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 11. The square root of 4 is just 2, which means the square root of 44 is the same as 2 root 11, right? So I would then therefore have x equals 10 plus or minus 2 root 11 all over 2. But since I'm dividing by 2, I can simplify here, making that 10 a 5, and here, making that 2 a 1, and here, making that 2 a 1, right? It divided everything by 2, and therefore lead to having x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 11. Now, that tells me that this x, right? I could, I could uh, separate this into x equals 5 plus root 11 and 5 minus root 11. Now, this looks a lot like this, and therefore n must be equal to 11, and that is our answer.